Hello everybody, how is it going? And welcome to another episode of MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries. We are building a true missile monster today and we're gonna take our trusty Marauder 2 today because this thing is just made for massive missile spam. So without any further ado, we are getting directly into the build process and then we are getting onto the battlefield. I've already gone to an industrial hub so we can have some fun here and not spend all of our money. And before we go, we gotta go over to the King Crab Triple Zero because this guy has some items that I want, specifically these very good LRM 15s. LRM being long range missile for all of you who don't know what that is. We also want the proto heat sinks because they are very, very good. Um, and the radical proto double heat sink kit. Because why not? All right, so that's gonna be our rebuild. And we're gonna probably also take the heat management support because where we are going, we need cooling and we need a lot of it. So, this is the base build of our Missile Mech Boatface, Mr. Marauder 4 HP. As you can see, we slapped a bunch of like multi-tier LRMs into this guy, but I would say we are going to make this guy really good today. We will ditch AMS as the first thing. Uh, and then the Artemis LRM. I want to do an Artemis build at some point, but right now I do care about the biggest, bestest LRMs, the regular ones that we can find. Cooling lines, get out of here. Double heat sinks, get out of here. Artemis, get out of here. All right. I would say that's a good start. We're gonna start the work. Wait for two of the mechs to be repaired at the same time. So um, when the king crab is stripped, more or less, then we can put the stuff from the crab into our marauder. And I really wonder how good this thing is gonna be. I have no idea, but we will figure it out. I don't think that missiles are particularly good. I mean, they are great for some like constant splash damage but i don't think that they excel at killing mechs fast that's what pinpoint damage is for so we'll see how this how this works i think in a team context this is quite nice so here we go all right ready to go everybody what we want is we want all of our hard points we have four missile hard points on each side also we want all of them to be filled with lrm 15s and 15 specifically because these guys are the most weight efficient ones. Unless you have like LRM 5s and a million hard points to work with. But we have 8 or technically 9 but this is you know one in the head that I'm not utilizing right now. Um, so let's see what we can do here. We're gonna take obviously the bestest of the best. And there we go. We have to end it here. So sadly we have one tier 3 that will be kind of balanced with the tier 5 that we have on the other side. So I would say this is all around tier 4 territory that we are in. We also... Probably want to drop a little bit of weight here because I also need more ammo now and more cooling. We have seven, uh, six and a half heat per second built and our cooling is only at about three. So that's not good, but we will make that happen. So first of all, we're going to add structure, composite structure so that we have a bit more tonnage lying around. And I would say clan doubles are getting taken out here because what we are doing now is we're going to put a radical double heat sink kit. No way. Proto, radical proto double heat sink kit into the mech that takes all of the engine heat sinks away. But it pushes down the cooling quite a lot. That's pretty good. Okay, so engine could be lower. I don't know if we have to go lower than that. Um, and I don't think we're gonna need the heat bank. And more in the side torsos whenever possible. Right, and we have two proto heat sinks lying around here. Oh boy. Let's see, we have four more to work with question is do we bring back the cooling lines to get some extra benefit out of here i think we might i think we might actually uh these cooling lines improve our cooling efficiency by 40 percent proto heat sinks are not really there for like raw cooling they are more for heat reduction from the weapon that we fire but you can see it's a tremendous it's a tremendous upgrade anyway we are at 2.5 now we are at 2.8 so that's basically more than a double heat sink it's one and a half double heat sinks for the cost of one and only one slot. And there's more that we slap on the side as well. Uh, in order to get there, by the way, I figured out we have some compact actuators. So we can free up a lot of room here in order to slap more heat sinks into the cooling line section. That's really good. And we're gonna... Yeah, we're gonna put the doubles in there. Okay. That seems good, man. Now we are overcooling this thing, actually. I think I want to be a little lower than our heat buildup. And that means we can fire can fire away all the time sadly i don't have another compact actuator i would love to but i don't so eh, there's that oh wait another thing we got like heat management support that gives us our ah, heat management skill modifier not 
uh, direct cooling. That's okay. So, I want to keep my drone. I want to definitely put that proto heatsink over here. And I think I want an ECM. Oh, by the way, this targeting... Comp We're gonna talk about the targeting computer in a second. Give me my, give me my ECM clan. That's a good one. Uh, and then this targeting computer missile, which gives us a great amount of upgrades for missile weapons. This is what the mech is all about. Can be upgraded with an advanced targeting computer missile, which basically doubles the values. So, there we go. The rest is gonna be ammo. I think... Yeah, I can already feel it. We will run out of ammo so bad. We need another compact actuator so we get more double bins in here. That's never gonna be enough. We also need to lower our weight a bit, and in order to get there, I think a 300 rated core is fine. That's good. That's alright. Good. And... actually? Wait a second. 4.36. It's the same. Okay. Why did we get more heat? Ah, because of the advanced missile computer. It lowers our cooldown, and therefore the game assumes that we will fire more often and our heat is higher as a result. That's actually quite true. That's just true. Okay, engine core 300, because we don't care about our engine heat sinks, we can just lower that and instead add speedy lag actuators to get to the same amount of speed that we had before. We even get a bit of a bonus out of it, and we have half a ton left over for, I don't know, extra armor plates on the legs. There's nothing we can really do, unless we find another compact actuators. And if you're wondering, this is a compact actuator hand, so we have to have a hand in order to put that thing in there. Sadly, we only have a lower arm, so... We cannot put that actuator in our hand hardpoint or slot because we don't have a hand slot. Um, I need to find another one. And then I would say the mech is almost done. Cockpit-wise... I don't want any here. I mean, I can go cockpit armored. Oh, it takes a slot. Alright. So... Ah, yeah, one thing. Let's drop the last bin of ammo. I wanted to upgrade another thing, and that is... <laughs> attack. With attack, we get a... Like a laser pointer that shoots at 900 meters. Actually, it shoots at 1,875 meters. Huh. Like, why is optimal range and maximum range not the same? Like, what's the fall up there? I don't know. But it reduces our spread significantly. Um, it says spread modifier 75%. So I don't know if the overall spread is reduced by 75% or to 75%. Don't know what that means, but it is better that we hit in tighter clusters. So less damage will be lost on terrain. I guess we're going to armor up. Ah, uh, 83 it is. And that's our mech, guys. This is it. This is gonna be a crazy missile boat. What happened? No! I changed the roll! Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. Okay, 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 okay. So, I'm gonna bring it back and we'll see each other in a second. Alrighty, here we are guys. I have built and actually painted my mech at the same time and I would say it's time to go and test it on the battlefield. There's also some upgrades coming up and I would say we're just gonna go somewhere where we can actually try, like in a war zone. But the war zone, eh, it doesn't give us so much. Should we go to an endgame contract already? I say no. Let's go to Kentaris. That's a good one. We can play for, I think, Steiner Dabby on there and play against the Independents and um, have a good time trying to get some things done. Ah, we got something like a, what are they called? Like Flashpoint mini missions here? Uh, whatever, we're gonna do something. Doesn't care. Doesn't matter. So, uh, oh, it's just House Debian. Wait a sec. Oh, these guys all don't like me. What happened? I thought they were already allied with, like, Steiner and stuff. Huh. Well... What's that? Endgame Recon. No, I don't want to play that. Give me give me something good here. Come on. Warzone. Independence against Steiner Devian. Alright, let's go with that. That's a good one. So enemies will come towards us. We have uh, multiple waves of them just appearing on the horizon. And hopefully we can destroy them in one go. I feel still that... The optimal way to play this would be to just go double arrow. The arrows were so strong. They were so overwhelmingly strong. But they were also so damn dangerous. <laughs> Let me get my... Where is it? I'm blind. Oh, it here. Okay, cool. So, we need somebody who's good with missiles. And I know a guy who really is. I mean, Major has is pretty good with the Kappa 15. But I think we have somebody better, like Captain Lamb. 
Yeah, let's go, everybody. It's 108 days, and I'm so happy that we advanced the timeline because the... What are they called? TPI Max are coming? We had 3081. Whoa. I feel like we have to advance another 100 years or so. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. But hey, let's go. Let's try. Let's have some fun right where we are with our missile mech. And yeah, the, the idea is to shred the enemies and then hopefully our friends can follow up with some extra damage to just give him the final blow. The final killing blow. That's what we are here for. And I think I want to see how much damage I can actually deal in minimum range. Because how the missiles, the clan missiles work is... Uh, well, let's say missiles in general, LRMs, long-range missiles, is that you have a dead zone of, I, th I think it's 180 meters. So if your enemies underrun that zone, you cannot shoot your weapons because it takes the time to actually arm the warhead of the missile and you just shoot duds at that range. So you wouldn't shoot at all. However, clan missiles don't have that negative. You can shoot them at point blank. The question is though, do we do full damage at zero range or is this kind of like a, like a diminishing curve? down to zero where we actually deal like zero and between like zero and 180 meters we deal a bit of damage and the further we get to 180 meters we then get the full damage output something like that Ooh, we see assault max i love it let's go already yeah yeah that's good man it's just a charger it's not the craziest enemy in the world also, how do we get up here? Move it. So, Chargers don't have the most armor. They are 80-ton Assault Max. But, Assault Max nonetheless. Alright, I like that. I like that a lot. That was cool as hell, man. Oops. Also, our base is getting destroyed. There are two more enemies. Tank. Going chain fire here. Or let's say group fire. Then another tank. Which is hopefully getting destroyed by the VTOL, so I don't have to do it. And we can concentrate on getting into the base. There we go. So that's my chain fire. Oh, actually... Actually... Yeah, there's something weird here. That's what I want. I got attacked, so might as well, might as well use it. You see the little laser pointer here? That's gonna be helpful. That spider is gonna get wrecked. So we wanna point at the target. <laughs> that we are shooting, so our spread is minimized. Oh boy, that hornet. Down. Just down. I think the drawback of a build like this is that you actually have to lock onto your target. That takes a little bit of time, so you cannot snap shoot. Like with a PPC. Defeat the sniper mix. Let's go. We have a secondary objective coming up. Some enemies joining the fight. What are you fighting? There's a guy. Is this one of the sniper mechs or is this just like regular invasion? Oh, I hear VTOL. Right, I'm gonna do that. That Jager mech is gonna melt. Yeah, one shot kill. One shot kill. All right, uh, let's go for this guy, little javelin. I mean, the benefit that we have here is that we can shoot indirectly. We just ignore cover, we just shoot above it, as long as we have the sensor range. And because of our electronics helping us out, we do. Another Jäger McMelt? Ah, uh, not quite. And now. All right, what's that? Give me the biggest target of them. Be awesome. One shot kills. The time to kill is a bit longer than what we are used on the Kaiju. Pass up the lock on. And then that. It's just crazy. Overwhelming firepower, everybody. It's just amazing. Okay. They have a they have sent the lance to assassinate me, and I'm happy because first of all, we see an annihilator. Big beefy mech that can soak a lot of damage. And secondly. These pilots have extra damage reduction skills. Go on the Banshee. Man, my cooldown is also just amazing. King Crab. Uh, I feel like we didn't destroy the Annie. Oh yeah, we left them alive. 
Down he goes. And then a Stalker. And it's worth noting, because of our big Alpha Strike, our heat management is not even that big of a deal. Because we have these natural fire pauses. Like, get that Stalker down now. Huh? Actually? Okay. And then, you know, we're gonna lock onto the next target, and in the meantime, we are cooling again. I gotta say, at the same time, we are in a cold environment, so is this the perfect benchmark? I would say no. Oh my god. I love that. Cataphract! My cat are dead? Yeah, man. By the way, I, I, I kind of uh, read the patch notes, I kind of read the announcements of uh, the rise of the Wrestlehawk. And what I really like is that they made some AI improvements. I don't know how they're gonna play out, but they announced that the AI will be smarter, that they will, they will fire more often. That's my biggest bottleneck that I have right now. This is a good mech. In the hands of an AI though, the DPS is going down like crazy because it just doesn't shoot that often. Not as often as it could. Not using the heat threshold as much as it could. And I really hope that with the new patch, with the new DLC, this will change. A perfect range, by the way. We are in about 200 meters, which means that our missiles don't have too long to travel to the enemies. They cannot really dodge it. And we are in optimal range. But we also wanted to check what happens if I go point blank. So that's the thing that I'm gonna try now. I'm gonna set my friends to don't engage, hold fire, and I'm gonna go in. Ugh, myself. Now, I don't have any self-repairing armor. It might be a dumb idea. But I have to know. We have to. Actually. You know what I could do? I could soften them up. And leave one of them alive. And then try with them. By the way, we can always dump fire whenever we need to. Get a breach here. I love that! It's so cool! But it's it's very repetitive at the same time, you know? You just aim at something and you, you hit your weapon and they travel automatically. It's just, meh. Yeah, there's no skill involved, really. So, here we go. Look at the damage. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Okay, so in point blank range, we actually deal zero damage and it scales the further we are getting away again. Got it. It is a good mech, don't get me wrong. It shreds. We have 3,000 missiles still that we can shoot. 3,000 little bee stings that we can put out there. And that's technically 3,000 damage. Each missile dealing one. That's quite good. I want to stay a little longer, just a little. Just a little. Because I want to see how quickly my missiles are getting... ...getting used up now. We'll see. Where are you? Huh? I mean, I can do the math myself, right? So we have four LRM-15 on each side torso. Means we got eight. So we have 120 missiles. 120 missiles per Alpha Strike. Okay, that means we have... 2,400. We have 20 Alpha Strikes left. That is not a lot. But it is 10 dead mechs, technically. So, there's that. Yeah, I mean... In a mission where you only have to destroy 23 enemies, plus some extras, I would say this is just the right amount. I wouldn't take this to an endgame uh, battleground mission or anything, where there's so much stuff on the battlefield that you have to destroy. And I think this is kind of where we are capped, more or less. I feel like... I want... Another one of these compact actuators, so I have a bit more room on the side torso. I could totally see myself ditching the speedy leg actuators. I don't know. To free up some tonnage. Maybe a double heatsink or two. Which also generates more slots again. And put more ammo in there. Definitely needs more ammo. But hey, we managed. It was good. It was fun. Part of me wants to take the Highlander just for money, so it's a... Uh, 200,000 per one pick ratio, which is good. Everything that is above 100,000 per pick is good. This is double the amount. 
the same time, they are heavy PPCs. We have not really built with them. Let's take them and build with them. King Krab. Sure, no. Battlemaster is not interesting. Awesome, not interesting. The Mauler, to some extent. Annihilator. Maybe I should build an Annihilator at some point. It's such an icon. Speaking of Icon, I just released a video today that was about the Atlas and it was a short. So let me know what you think about the short, uh, the short form content. I'm experimenting with it right now. I kind of enjoy the easy, like the ease of production. Um, makes me, you know, makes me want to produce more content now for you guys. So let me know if that's content that you're interested in. Um, I also have my ana analytics, so um, having both of it, it's a very good ratio, by the way. Uh, your information right now from the human beings and then the information from the analytics kind of you know, gives me a good feel of um, how and um, if I should produce that content. So get that PPC and we're good. So, we killed a Banshee. Gonna get an auto cannon 20. A blam. We might want to get an auto cannon 20 build going for us, right? Since the Ruck 20 was really underwhelming, maybe we should go with big pinpoint. I can totally see myself going that route. However, right now, I would say this is it was a good experiment. I would say it was a success. It worked. It's it's a mech. It's definitely doing the thing that it should do. It is destroying enemies on the battlefield. And I would say playing it again right now makes very little sense to me. So what we will do now is uh, we will play another of these endgame battlegrounds. Maybe finding another mech that we want. Another hero. That we then bring to the battlefield as well. And I want to get these Ultra Auto Cannon 2s. I really want to get them. They are very promising weapon systems that I also want to try. Thunderbolt 15 ammo. Yep, please. Give me that. Max shot ammo. And we have enough of that. I'm going to take a bit more LB5 ammo because those are amazing as well. Uh, large cam? No, not really. Inark. Sure. It's a double bin. Always advised. Gauss. And then AP Gauss half tons. There are no doubles. One of you said that the AP Gauss is uh, made for like battle armor and stuff. So they would only have low amount of ammunition anyway because a battle armor have a very, very light carry capacity. I don't know. I don't know if that's true. Ultra light, heavy duty, flexibility. No thank you. And that means... Man, do I buy more Harshal? I feel like we have enough of that. The moment when you deny that. Oh, there's weapon mounts. I'll take it. Good. So, that is where we are right now. I need to quickly repair my other guys, and then I would say we're gonna seek some trouble in the big boy missions. Where are they? Ooh, we can also play multi. Multi missions. Hmm. Interesting. There's also Endgame Recon. How was Recon working again? Do we need speed there? Let me read that. And there was also the information on the comment section. Guys, you are such an asset. Thank you. An asset, not an ass. An asset. Um, you, you give me so much information. And you said I should read the contract on the Endgame and it would tell me what I would get. Rewards. Two random hero medium max and an assortment of max tier missile and auto cannon or melee weapons. Thank you. Uh, but with the added difficulty of having to assist our, uh, your allies in capturing the Op4 fortress in the area. Allies will be dropped in after you have completed the primary recon phase. Time limits are more strict. So we gotta go fast here. Let's go fast. Let's have some fun. The negotiation the points area. do not matter. I, I just don't care. However... However, quickly checking. I think I need like yeah, black carapace here. Uh, can I even run my max that I built? I want to use the red shank for just doing recon stuff. Who is survivable enough to not get blasted apart? You are certainly not Mr. Direwolf. Just took the king crab apart. Yes, kaiju. You're running hard in Pharaoh, so you're definitely somebody I want. Not with this pilot, though. Who was our energy specialist, anyway? It was a woman. 
Like Major Hansen? No, there was somebody better. You! This should not be a problem. Okay. You are just a Kraken, just doing Kraken stuff. You at the very least got a spore liner, and then there's the boar's head, still under tonnage. Uh, I don't think I want to have this guy here. Maybe we are taking Missile Mech both phase. Getting that extra missile support might be nice. So we have Pinpoint, we have like Shredding Damage, a mixed build, and then me in the melee mech. I would say we have the best of every world. Let's... Huh? Huh? Pilot. Roger that. Let's go. Let's see what we can do here. Really hope I'm getting some long range support from my friends. We don't have an arrow which has almost unlimited range here. So, missile support is limited to a thousand meters roundabout. If I get too far away from my friends, then I would have a bit of a problem. But hey, we'll check it out. I mean, th there are some medium mechs that I certainly want. There is the arrow that I want. I want to make a machine gun build happen. Really hope that this is going to be good. Here we are. Was that lightning? Oh my god. We got five minutes for all of this? Lucky that we are fast, man. Lucky that we are fast. Want to jump? Let me jump. I mean, why walk when you can fly? That is one of them. Mm, I kind of don't want my friends to follow me, but I guess for the first phase of the game, we're gonna do this. Come on, crash through here. Jump again. Look, Mob! I'm flying! Uh huh. There's something. Got what? A Vulcan? Just a Vulcan? I'm gonna ignore that guy. I really feel like we gotta be fast in this one. And there we go. So, what I can do is set my friends to attack pattern Vulcan. Uh, let me get that. You are annoying! So, where's the next base? Uh, what a bad pattern. What a bad, bad pattern. So we're gonna jump over the canyon, hopefully. Come on. Already low. Wait, what happened? I should really go there. Yeah, north first and then take the last three bases. Right, so my friends are having fun. I'm just here to get the things. It's a bit of a walking simulator, and I'm sorry for that, guys. I know that some people just here are here for the action, but at the same time, the action will follow. The action will follow as soon as we have this scouted out. Getting a bit stuttery here. Yeah, more and more assets are being loaded in. It's a Marauder. Ooh, it's the Missile Marauder, the 9M. Really good. We're gonna take this right quick. Rawr. Are you dead? You are dead. Perfect. One hit is enough. And we completely ignore everything else. So, hot seat off again, cool it down a bit, and we're gonna keep going. Jump. Just go straight whenever possible. I don't want to go up and down or down and up all the time. Right. Almost there. At 300 meters, we inspect the site. I think. But I'm not getting stuck on terrain. Okay, we got this. We totally got this. We have two and a half minutes left to get two more of these um, sites checked out. I wish I had more jump juice, honestly. Yeah, it feels like in the early game, I have a bigger pool of jump jet fuel, and the more I use it, the less I have. Like, even if it's filled up. It's an arrow, Erby! What? Oh no, arrow. Uh, Erby, don't arrow me. You gotta go now. 
Okay, luckily he was in minimum range. Hey, I should really stop masking. It's self-repairing. That's the cool thing. This is just so amazing, guys. We have the self-repairing armor and structure. Cool. So, what now? Time until allies arrive. I guess we are waiting here. Waiting for our friends to arrive. We have 17, 17 seconds, guys. It's another mech. Let's have some fun with a cicada. Sure. Part of me doesn't want to kill him because he calls in reinforcements. He lives. Yes, we got him, right? Yeah, totally did. Totally did. And look at all the turrets on our map. That's what you get when you have a big UAV. We have like three... Like on, on the battle map in the east, you see a bunch of units, blue flying units. These are our UAVs. So, what now? Capture the fortress. Oh, there's a fortress. Let's go and capture it then. You know what? Since we have now relayed the data, I'm gonna use my mech. Let's have some fun here. Burp. Oh, oh god. Oh god. The lag is real. To me, it right now feels like we should kill faster. Challenger. Nasty. One alpha strike is not enough to kill. Insane. Where are you? You are dead. That's what you are. We're gonna attack Max before anything else. Yeah, it seems like now the fun begins. Now the game actually starts getting attacked from left and right. Bang. Little early. Where are you? Mm, partisan, no weapon carrier. I'm so sorry for the lagging. Where are you? Go away. Mr. Hammer. Okay. I think first and foremost we gotta defend ourselves and then we can start pushing that base. But you know what? Aggression is the better defense. Okay. Got him. Perfect. Uh, we gotta go south. This is the base. That we have to go to. We cannot hit the turrets for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe the turret wasn't popped up yet. Okay. What's very, very important, by the way, is as soon as we get into the vicinity of the base, we have to destroy the turrets there quickly because they have an amazing amount of damage output. So... Almost there. Things slowed down a bit due to terrain. Yeah, we can hit them. So, there it is. It's the first turret. Quad PPCs. And we need to get to a thousand meters before we can engage, actually. It's also a quad PPC turret. We'll take that. And that's our damage output. Two alpha strikes and a uh, hardened turret is going down. Wow. I mean, this is what the mech is really good for. That's so damn good. Alright, let's close in. Small laser. Don't care. Small laser. I mean, I guess. Ah, there's the big boy. Hey! Somebody melee! I really feel like our melee mech did a melee thing. Oh. Uh oh. Okay, so they have some garrison duties here. Go for the big boys. Stalker, please go. Maybe I should stop firing for a second because I'm the one attracting a lot of fire here. And that's a Gauss Atlas. K variant. Do they have sent the distress signal? Uh-oh. That's a big oops. 
that King Crab out of here. We are starting to take damage. Uh, and somebody is dropping arrows somewhere. On the Bindi. So, who's the arrow guy? I think I heard one. Ow. Oh, it's Erby, right? It's Arrow Erby. Sadly, another big, big problem of my build. I'm locked onto one guy now. Swapping locks is a lot of effort because it's time investment. Great, so we got him. We're gonna take this now. Okay, 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 okay. SRMs, small lasers, we're fine. It's an ERPPC. What? But that's just a regular turret, right? More assault mechs coming. Gauss! What? They have a they have a dropship! They have a freaking dropship! Oh my god! This is what I see here. Wow! This is where all the mechs are coming from. We gotta destroy that thing. What? Look at it. It's, it doesn't have a heat signature, but holy crap. That's the first time I'm seeing those. I love it. This is so good, man. One of my best days in the game. The first time I see an active dropship. I mean, uh, I guess there's one in the in the last mission of the vanilla game, right? But still. That's a scripted mission. This is random. You get him? Okay. So, we gotta just hold out here. Oh boy. Uh, I don't necessarily need to destroy him, so I'm not gonna. Because we are down to 1,675 missiles. Somebody else can take that. Here we go. Yeah, have fun with that. Just gonna stay here and capture, because I believe after this, we will have another wave coming at us. Let's see. We gotta, we gotta actually keep our ammo together. Nobody really gets there. Huh. Now come to me, guys. Don't engage. There's no, there's no need for it. Yeah, I really gotta disable ray tracing again. As much as I like it in those big missions where there's so much going on. Doesn't help really. But look at this lance flare, come on. Can we please appreciate the lance flare for a second? Just once. Just once. Okay. What a mission, guys. What a mission. We got a freaking dropship called on us. That was cool as hell. I wish... I wonder. I wonder if I could have destroyed it. By just destroying all the turrets or something, or maybe just laying into him. I don't know. What we got is a bit of a bit of sea billows. We get a Griffin E. Sparky. Yeah. I mean, sure, why not? The Dark Death, Assassin. Bunch of hatchets and, and trench blades and assault katanas. That's cool, but it's not the arrow. Alright, so we have 26 picks. What are we doing with them? I think I'm looking for good weapon systems. Cicada, cicada, cicada. No. I mean, it's worth a bit. But only a bit, so that's a no. Annihilator, no. SRM6 Artemis, that's pretty good. ER medium lasers. I'm gonna take them. Because I can. Urban Mech Arrow 4. Is this worth it? To get another arrow? It's not, no. So, 11 picks, more medium lasers. I don't think I need them right now. Going through all of this. Saying mostly no to everything. We have 50 double heat sinks, so we will not use them. We're actually running low on clan double heat sinks and obviously proto heat sinks. So, what I'm doing now is 
I'll take the Jägermack because it's uh, 200,000 roughly. 230, 1,000 per pick. That's a good one. And then an SRM Artemis bin. Okie dokie, guys. So we got two new Hero Max. What they do? We don't know. We will figure it out in the next episode. Uh, I'm not going to turn in my assassin. No, thank you. No, 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 no. So, I hope you enjoyed the episode, everybody. If you did, as always, don't forget to leave a rating. Let me know what you think of the build. Let me know what you think of the shorts that are coming right now. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.